ABC's General Hospital Sports revealed that on the recent speculation about the Hook killer still going on, people still don't have any accurate information about him. Recently, Esme escaped after being held captive by Nicholas. She tried very hard to escape from him, and Esme is still waiting for a plan of revenge. She wants to kill Nicholas by all means, and Esme disguised herself as a Hook assassin that attacked Nicholas. Esme is just trying to fool Nicholas. Apparently, the Hook killer is someone else. It seems that Esme was trying to protect the true identity of the Hook killer, so she did it on purpose. Surely when Esme attacked Nicholas, he would soon guess it was her, and assume that she was the assassin that everyone was looking for all this time. They'll focus on investigating Esme without expecting the killer to, to be someone else. The Hook killer would be an acquaintance of Esme's, and it's Ryan or Nell. What's the truth? Who is the real Hook killer, and what will happen? Meanwhile, perhaps new victims will continue to appear when the killer has not been caught. The people of Port Charles have been on guard all this time, but once the assassin is a target, he will surely be attacked. Surviving or not depends only on luck. Therefore, the police are under a lot of pressure when they don't have the hook killer and they haven't caught him, especially Jordan. Currently, there's a high probability that Carly will be the next target when she's returned to Port Charles after completing her business trip. Because it seems that the assassin has been targeting Trina and those around her, Carly is still within the realm of possibility of being attacked. Carly has just been dating Drew, and will you protect her well during this perilous time? Who is the hook killer really aiming for, and will the police catch him before the new victim shows up? However, it seems at this time the hook killer is really aiming for Carly. He's been waiting for the opportunity for quite some time, because Carly was still elsewhere. There's no chance to act, and now that Carly returns, there will still certainly be more opportunities. The hook assassin will choose the opportunity for Carly to go alone and attack her. Of course, Drew will not be able to be with Carly 24-7. So the assassin would draw many opportunities to strike, but it seems he didn't have any and wouldn't have expected that he was about to be attacked. Someone suddenly appeared and protected Carly from escaping. It seems that the two sides will have a tense match, and the hook killer now knows they can't fight back, so he can only run away. Because Carly's helper is Jason, he has indeed alive and in turn to Port Charles during his stressful time to protect everyone. How shocked will Carly be when he sees Jason? What did Jason do all these years when someone thought he was dead? Why did the hook killer attack Carly? Besides, Carly thought that she was dead and she saw the hook killer jump out to attack her. With her weak strength like Carly, she couldn't fight him. She thought she would die when she actually met the situation, but Jason appeared to make her extremely surprised and happy. Carly hasn't given up looking for him over the years and everyone assumed he was dead, but she didn't believe it. When she saw his body, she believed otherwise and she always thought he was still alive, even though the hope was very slim. Carly's wish also came true while Jason was still alive and returned to the exact moment the hook assassin attacked her. Shirley has always been secretly protecting her, so it appeared at such a right time. Jason's probably returned to Port Charles soon and was always trying to find the hook killer. Carly had a lot of questions. She wanted Jason to answer, but Jason's very anxious to catch the hook killer. Will Jason answer all of Carly's questions soon? And will you catch the hook killer soon? And how will things turn out?